ஒன்ஸ் பரஷிவ வாஸ் ஃபைட்டிங் வித் அ டெமன் அந்த காசுரா டியூரிங் திஸ் இன்டென்ஸ் பேட்டில் லார்ட் மகதேவா ஷிவா ஷெட்ஸ் ஸ்வெட் எ நியூ அசுரா பார்ன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்வெட் ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் திஸ் நியூ அசுரா பார்ன் ஃப்ரம் த ஷிவா ஸ்வெட் இஸ் நாட் ஆஸ் இவில் ஆஸ் அந்த காசுரா டு இம்ப்ரெஸ் லார்ட் ஷிவா திஸ் அசுரா ரைஸ்ட் அப் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்வெட் ட்ராப்லெட்ஸ் பிகின்ஸ் விகரஸ் ஃபினன்ஸ் அண்ட் அஸ்டரிட்டிஸ் Pleased with the Asura's finance, Lord Shiva appears before him. The Asura prays to the Lord Shiva, O oh God, please grant me permission to devour the three words. So be it, blessed Lord Shiva. The Asura's joy knew no bounds. He took possession of all three words and started preparing to devour the terrestrial world first. The heavenly deities are Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and even other Asuras became frightened. They surrounded the Asura and captured him. Thus, caught, the Asura said to deities, O celestial beings, you have captured and bound me from all the sides. How long do you think I have to remain in this posture as a prisoner? On hearing this, the celestial deities responded, Since today is Bhadrapada Shikla Trithiya, a Friday and Vishaka Nakshatra. You will lie down here on the floor and change positions every three months. Bhadrapada, Ashwaija and Kartika, you will sleep with your head eastward and feet facing the west. During the months of Margashira, Pushya and Maga, you will lie in the south direction and facing the west. and during the months of palguna chaitra and vaishaka you will lie with the head westward and feet facing the east place your head northward during the months of jeshta ashada and shravana while facing the east direction this way no matter which way you turn you will only look to the left but asura was very powerful lord brahma requested the gods of eight directions the ashtadikpalakas to help then the fortified deities together caught the asura threw him face down on the earth with his head in the northeast direction and feet in the southwest fortified deities pinned his body down 13 of them holding from within while 32 externally in this manner fortified deities together formed the vastu purusha mandala at this stage the asura is known as vastu purusha to please the vastu purusha lord brahma and other deities reached an agreement it was agreed upon that asura would not harm or disturb the people living in the structures buildings or dwellings that fit his body the body parts of the vastu purusha are named after the deity that hold down that body part for instance lord brahma held the middle part of the vastu purusha's body thus the central portion of the building or structure is known as the brahmasthana or the place of the lord brahma so 13 deities holding the asura from within denote the interiors of the structure and 32 deities holding from the outside denote the exteriors most of the gods or goddesses take the position towards the upper body of the vastu purusha and the asuras take the lower part of the body vastu shastra is a science not the superstitious belief the speciality of vastu shastra is determining the flow of energy through the building and its spaces vastu purusha is also the lord of gravity he resides in any and all the structures built on the earth and as per the rules he controls the evil forces that enter these structures positive energy is generated on the earth on the result of pressure or moment of radiant energy from north to south east to west nairuti is the father of mankind and hence occupies the highest place indra is king of gods lord of heavens and a god himself building a structure in the line with the schematic of earth's energy flow will ensure an effective and positive result our ancestors looked upon all living beings with a reverence through vastu shastra they have imparted the manner in which 
all creatures can live together in harmony vastu shastra clearly educates how we should use the natural resources without overusing harming the nature and live in harmony without harming the other creatures in it in recent times human beings have been suffering many hardships and diseases the main reason for this is failure to take care of the nature and causing a harm to it no matter how enlightened a human being is he is still making a new discoveries in the science and technology what is the point of cutting down trees to build multi story building if it is against the principle of vastu shastra with the gratitude going to ahoratra who is a vastu consultant of national and international repute thank you this is shrungapriya